What's going on guys? Logs here. Hope you have a great day. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be testing the VPN on Rebirth Island to see if you can get bot lobbies and easier lobbies with the VPN on Rebirth Island. There are a bunch of players out there who play Rebirth every single day and just shred and drop 30, 40 bombs. And you're probably wondering how are they doing this? And today we're going to test it to show maybe they're using a VPN. I'm not going to name any names. I'm not going to accuse anyone, but there are a bunch of players out there who play using the VPN on Rebirth and it's very apparent in the their gameplays. So to test this, I'm gonna be jumping into five games of Rebirth Resurgence Quads with the VPN off, just playing normal, normal KD, and then turn it on and see how my games change for the next five games. So let's jump over the stats after I do this and we'll just get right into it. All right, so we're over here on the Warzone Stats website. Here are my stats for me. I have a 2.68 KD, uh, all this Rebirth stats, I really suck. I'm not a good player, I'm gonna be honest, guys. This is why I use the VPN because I don't wanna go against Sweats. That's why I use it and test it out for you guys. But here are the five games that I played with the VPN off. So we're just queuing normally. These are the five ones I did fill on and I played with my friend in one of them. So you can see right here, we started off with a 1.25. We just played duos, no fill, I think. Not really a good first start. Next game was a 0.93, then a 0.92. These are basically average games on Rebirth. You're not gonna get these really crazy bot lobbies if you're not using the VPN on Rebirth. Um, and then we go up to a one and then a 0.96. We got 22 team kills, I dropped 10 kills, so we'll just look at this one real quick. 0.96, we have teammates in this one, and uh, you know, average players, I mean, 0.59, that's a little bit of a bot team, but we're still, okay, we have one bot team. We're still uh, we're still kind of average on, uh, on Rebirth. We're not really jumping into crazy numbers. These are the games I played without the VPN, and I'm about to show you the games with the VPN, just so you can see the difference, just so you can, kind of see what you're going to be looking at when people upload these gameplays but uh so we'll scroll up and i'll show you the vpn lobbies i mean it's clear as day night and difference man so obviously we jump from 1.96 you know they're all around a one to first off first game with the vpn 0.67 i dropped 20 kills uh 31 team kills 0.59 i only got eight kills because i suck 0 0.81, 0 0.66 again. If you're getting these low levels, uh, back to back games like this, like this, back to back, uh, you're either one, reverse boosting, two, using the VPN, or three, you're just a bot and these are your normal lobbies anyways, but realistically, you're probably not a bot if you're watching this video because you're going out of your way to search up this content on how to get VPN lobbies. So these are clear night and day difference. And when you see stats like this that are consistently low, how you can see it game after game after the game, it's very prevalent someone's using the VPN. Now, a lot of people aren't open about using the VPN. They don't want to be on that side where people think they're, they're cheating or whatnot, even though, you know, you're, you're not going against AI players. You're actually going against real players. It's just lower skill players. So you're definitely putting yourself at an advantage. So in some ways, yes, this is cheating. But as you can see, you're getting lower KD lobbies with the VPN on. We're just going to take a look at this 0.67 game where I dropped 20 kills just to show you that. Uh, so scrolling down, obviously I came in first and number two. We got 20 kills to team in number two 0 0.5 0 0.56 0 0.82 these were guys these guys were pretty good uh woof i mean this guy's a 0 0.23 kd probably not the best but this guy's carrying the team right here uh except he has zero kills so realistically some of these guys i mean this is the this is one of the bodiest teams um so yeah some of these guys just aren't good players so for those of you wondering i did use the no lag vpn server and i used the new zealand um that's just a very common server and it's rated five stars where i live just for the connection base uh sometimes it gives me good connection sometimes it gives me bad but as you can see at this time my time uh right now on a saturday i've been using the vpn and it's giving me good freaking lobbies back to back consistent lobbies that's what you want to look for if you're looking up someone's stats to see are they using a vpn if they have consistent lobbies that are low levels, possibly they're using a VPN. There are a ton of Rebirth players that do this. There's no doubt about it when you watch their gameplays. And a lot of them are silent about it. A lot of them don't really talk about it. And it's kind of that gray area where you don't want to be mixed in with cheaters and stuff like that. 
but uh, you can definitely tell what lobbies are VPN and what lobbies are not. For the rest of the video, I'm gonna leave you guys with the gameplay that I got where I actually got 20 kills and won the game, just so you guys can get a feel of what a VPN lobby looks like. So maybe in the future, if you're watching other people where you might suspect they're using a VPN, you can kind of tell just by the players and how they act and the bots and the, the bot skins and stuff, you guys can tell if they're using a VPN or not. I'll leave you guys with that gameplay. Hope you enjoy. If you do, subscribe and like the video if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces. This bot is shooting me. Raw dog run. That's my name. These kids are bad, bro. These are bot players, dude. Oh, last guy's up there. Don't shoot him. That's last. This team is so far. There's some. Dead armor. Alright, we can get loaded now. Dude, I fucking hate bots. We're just sitting in here with the RPG. There are 24 enemies. Oh, yeah, there's a lot. Another one to the left. Cooper is so good up close. This combat scout is not the best loadout, but these guys are absolute bots, so I think we'll be safe. Is the Cooper beaming like super hard? No, oh, they're shooting each other. Damn! Keep on riding. Enemy soldier nearby. Oh, I can't shoot him. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm always running out of ammo on my fucking sniper. There's so many. Damn, this Cooper is really hitting. Oh, They're all shots though, and it goes through ammo super fast. Yeah, do you see how many shots I just took? Yeah, it's it's like kind of like the key though. Like it's good up close, but far away. Like right there, that's perfect. Mid range is probably the best gun. Oh, I just got the team wipe on accident. Yeah, it's like a piece of my OTS. <laughs> OTS is sick, dude. This thing's ballin'. Yeah, it's like one of the only blueprints I've bought. Cool. How to take a when you get killed. I think I like this OTS more than any other sub that I've used. You might have to give me that build, dude. I don't want to kill this last guy. Oh, his teammate just got back. Dude, this OTS, I love this thing, man. Dude, this OTS is my favorite gun right now, man. This thing's sick. Yeah, How do? I, I didn't see him. I didn't see him. Like, no, no, I didn't. I didn't see him, dude. Like, I promise you. Someone just died. Fuck. Dude, I'm breaking everyone. He's got a jump. He just jumped and fell to his death. Oh, what an idiot.
I have 21. This is gonna be a gameplay yeah, video. Damn, man. I have 21, dude. That OTS, you've gotta give it that setup, bro. That setup was sick.